video, I did watercolor dye. In order to achieve this, you will need a bowl to be able to dip hair in, your wig of your choice, got to be spray, can be in the yellow or red can, and then your choice of color dye along with a hard brush or something that'll be easy to stir with and also a brush as well, so yeah. <laughs> this is the color dye I chose to do today. I expected it to come out brown, but I guess it's not the exact brown that I needed to be like a chocolate brown look, but yeah. If you guys want to get this exact dye color I use, go ahead and get this from Amazon. Okay, so after you have all your ingredients and stuff, you want to go ahead and put some hot water on the stove and get it to boil. And then this is just me showing you guys the wig that I'm using today. It's a 613 wig that I purchased from Amazon, real cheap, real simple. I think it was like 26, 24 inches. And yeah, so if you guys would like to purchase this, I will put it in the description box down below so you guys can get it. So yeah, now I'm just brushing all the hair back because um, I want it all in one spot. If you guys seen the wig before, you would be like, yeah, you need to brush that hair back because I'm getting ready to free spray it so it can stay in place. Um... Like I said, this is the free spray that I'm choosing to use today. It's got to be in the yellow can. You can use the red can if you like, but I'm using the yellow can today. Yeah, so this is just me spraying it in the wig. Um, I am not a professional. Let me just put that out there. I am a graduate from TikTok University, so I just do what I see. I guess this keeps the hair in place. I don't know what it does, but I see everybody else do it, so I decided to do it. Um... If you want to skip the step, go ahead. I don't know what's going to happen if you do. But, yeah, I just see everybody do it, so I did it too. Once your water gets to a boil like this, it'll be good to put into your bowl. Um, I'm not really good at voiceovers, so I'm only talking when it's necessary. Obviously, I'm about to put the thing into the bowl, so yeah. You want to begin pouring the dye into the bowl. Put all the dye that you're using into the bowl at the same time. Don't just do one and um, dip it in and add another one. Now, just put them all in at the same time. And make sure that you stir it around so your dye doesn't clump up because it'll be harder to stir. Okay, so you want to go ahead and grab your wig and begin dipping it in. As you dip, you don't want to just put the whole wig in there slowly, gradually, gradual, gradual take to the, y'all know what I mean. Put it in there. Don't just, you know, dump the whole thing in there and then, you know. So yeah, this is just me doing it. Just follow what I do. I, like I said, I'm not a professional, so you don't need to follow me, but yeah, go ahead, do it, do it, go, go.
okay um this is just me checking what parts is not obviously you can see there's still a lot of blonde that didn't get hit because like i said i'm not a professional so this is my very first time doing this um so yeah you just want to make sure that you're getting every part as much as possible So yeah, um, this is my big ass sister that I think she know how to do some, so she kind of helped me out. No, I'm just playing, because she did help out, because all the parts that I did not hit, she was getting. And I don't know how, because I did the same thing she did. But anyways, she's just like swirling it around in the water, not necessarily dipping it up and out. So you kind of want to just give it a little swirl in the water, because it started to get darker. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Yeah, yeah, so do that. Okay, so after you do that, you wanna go ahead and pour out the hot water and rinse with cold water. So that is what you'll see me doing right now. Uh, make sure the water is like freezing cold as much as possible and just wring it out and kind of like wash it in a way, but not necessarily wash it. And please make sure that the bowl that you use is just for hair. Don't use the bowl that you eat out of. If you use the bowl that you eat out of, don't eat out of it no more. Don't eat out of it no more. Just use it specifically for hair. Okay, so this is a step that you do not have to do. I just chose to do because I did not want the roots that like. So this is just me going back over just the roots with the dye because I wanted them to dark, be darker and I'd let them sit for 15 minutes before I rinsed it with cold water again. Okay guys, so this is just me showing you guys me plucking. Um, I'm actually not the best at plucking. I'm still learning, but I do something to get by, you know? So yeah, I'm just plucking. If you wanna pluck like me, go ahead. But if not, do your own thing.
okay so this is just me doing it to the next side because what you do to one side you want to do to the other so yeah it's harder for me to pluck on this side so the angle that i'm showing it from is a little odd don't mind my clothes hamper in the back um because i actually needed to put a load in so yeah Okay, so now that's just me just blowing drying it out. You know, I want to blow dry it and next I'm going to flat iron it. So yeah, that'll be the last touches for me. So my camera died guys, but that is the end of this video. This is how the wig turned out. Um, please comment down below if you learned a thing or two. And don't be scared, leave me tips and ways that I can improve because I'm always open to them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.